Hey everyone, happy Halloween, um, even though it's not Halloween we're recording this. Um, today I got some new updates with the VoIP system, so this should be interesting. So there's a lot to show off, so let's just get right into it. I'm also joined by today... Rainbow Dash 7X. So yes, our systems are connected along with um, High Smart Alarms. Um, he's not with us currently on the call. So, so you want me to test anything during it, I can. <laughs> yeah, so we have his... If you go check out his channel, there should be a card up above of his video of his tour. Um, Rainbow Dash also did a tour. There will also be a card up, up above, so... Yeah, go check theirs out. We're all connected together, so this is kind of my half, too. Um, this could be a mix of my updates of the system and kind of a tour. So, to begin... In the server closet, I'm calling it. This is where the changes are. There's no new phones or anything. So, like I said, I have the um, free PBX running on this um, Dell Inspiron laptop. It's it's fine. It works. Um, I have the Cisco Catalyst switch. Something I don't remember the number. Bottom number. It'll be on the screen. And up here is where the changes are. So. Um, Rainbow Dash 7X and Hi um, High Smart Alarms made me get a uh, ad trim, which was a good purchase, okay, I'll tell you that. Um, I really suggest them if you understand how to operate them, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so I have the Amphenol connector, everything's terminated behind the board, um, to the eight lines that I have, only five are in use. And uh, one of those lines is this new... Bogan UTI-1. So this is what I'm going to be using the page and everything. So instead of using the um, soft phones and needing a laptop or something, everything is going to come through here. And with this, I can use music in the background and stuff. So, yeah. And on another line, I have these cordless phones, which you can hear. On the wall right next to the server room, I have the Cisco 7970. Um, you've seen this before. The stand is starting to give up on it. That's why there's duct tape. Um, but other than that, it works fine. You just went into screensaver mode. So, uh, yeah. Um, over by the desk today, we have the SPA 303. Um, I got this back on the system. And on it, we have line one, which is the asterisk for my system and the link. So if I were to dial 380, his extension should ring. Yep, got a call. He might answer. <laughs> Yeah, so that brings him, so that's on the um, 3CX. So yeah, and then the bottom key is a BLF slash speed dial to that phone right there. So if I press it, it starts to ring. Um, so that's just basically this phone. Back over here on this little end table, there's one of the cordless phones. Popping into the utility room, we have the Cortelco 2554. Awesome phone, I highly suggest it. Um, that is on the ad tram along with the corded phones. And also my security panel, or Vista, is also connected to the um, ad train. And last but not least, I have this phone right here, which you've seen in my Instagram um, post, as connected to that phone jack and is connected to the ad train and system as well. So next up, we're just probably gonna show the uh, Bogan UTI-1 in action. So since it's a universal paging thing, you can you know change tones and stuff, but I have the tones like disabled. I'm also using the station port because this is analog from the um, ad tram. So if I were to dial the normal code 677, you should see a voice light pop up over there, which is kind of hard to see, and you heard that relay. And we are pa currently paging over the system. And you can hear it relay and limiter in action too. So I'll do it once again, 677. And you heard the, um, pre-announcement uh, pre tone. So since it's an extension on the system, uh, you can just dial, you know, 203, which is the extension. And you'll actually hear the paging tone over this phone, and you can actually hear it's, you know, paging like normal. And since it's an extension on the system, that means Rainbow Dash can actually dial into my um, Bogan, so... <laughs> Yeah, you can test it. You're all 
unmute my microphone so you can get the phone dial in the background. Okay. What's the, what's the uh, 203. <laughs> it's 203. You should be able to hear that relay too. You probably just pressed 3. <laughs> you just heard relay and he's connected. It's a painting test. So yeah, he can page straight to my system, and so can High Smart Alarms. And you can go the other way as well. Yep, we can page over each other's systems. Um, so also, I just have some YouTube um, audio library music. So if we start playing music over the system, which is connected to this computer, or iMac G4, it is going through the RCA ports and out to the stereo. We have music playing over the stereo. That one too. And we also have audio in here. Which is actually stuck to this. Now that's a two-way um, switch if you're ever wondering what that is. It switches between that speaker and this speaker. So if I press it this way, it's going through this speaker. That's just useful for when I'm doing voice attack system tests. And also if we do a page, it interrupts the music. We are now paging over the system. And the music continues. So that means that all these analog phones over here also work with paging. So I can just dial 677 pound and we are paging over this AT&T AT phone. So that phone works pretty well with the system as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, like the AdTran also like, with when it's unplugged from ethernet, the analog phones also still work as like a PBX. So I can dial each other's extension without the um, asterisk system running. So that means like if, you know, Ethernet's unplugged and my system is down, the fun the analog phones will still function. So we also have these Panasonic uh, cordless phones, so if I start a call, I can dial 203, and we can page over these cordless phones, if you can't hear. So yeah, we are connected, we're on 12 seconds, we can hang up. Uh, a few more things about the Bogan, it also has a Vox delay, so like if there's no sound going over the system, if I were to dial 203 and not say anything for a couple seconds, it should automatically disconnect. Yep, just disconnected. So that's also helpful for you know, like if the phone's not hung up correctly. Now also with the Bogan, um, we are able to do voice vac over it, so Basically, it's, it just works the same way, but it does work perfectly fine. So I'm not going to activate the uh, main system yet. I'm just going to activate from this phone. So if I do 601 pound, hang up. We are currently in voice of that. So this main stereo actually controls all of it, so I can turn up the volume or turn it down, you know? I have full adjustability of it. So here you can see the limiter active. And you just heard it disconnect, because I only have it run twice. So that's basically the voice of deck. So that still works all fine and dandy. I also have tones I can also play if you close the two relays. Um, I highly suggest checking out Mr. Mercury Fix It's video. He also explains the Bogan U2 item pretty well in depth. I also suggest it. Other than that, um, normal calling and, you know, back and forth still works fine. I, my ATA doesn't have the issue of when it's ringing 
and you pick it up, it doesn't like completely kill it. I might have explained that in past videos. So if I were to dial 109 and come into here, I could pick it up while it's ringing and it doesn't die. And we are actually on a call with the Cisco right there. So yeah, these phones still work normally. So I can dial, oops, wrong number. 204, I believe. And that phone is ringing, the ringer's off. But you can see the little LED flashing. And that phone works fine. The cordless phones also work perfectly well with these system. You can see over there. Uh, this is on the testing SIP extension, so, or the spa. If we answer on the phone, we can have a conversation. We can have a conversation. So yeah, these work perfectly well with the system as well. So yeah, those phones work good. And lastly, with the Adtran, it actually has an FXO port, so I have that connected to the landline. So what that means is only on the analog phones for now, I can dial a normal 10-digit number and just be able to call out to anything using the, you know, normal landline. So if I were to dial my cell phone number, it would actually call it. Only on the analog phones, though. And also, that means if the landline is ringing, it can be set to two phones ring. So I have this one and the Cortelco in there to a ring when the landline is ringing. And you can answer it like normal. So that's just basically the um, overview of it, of the um, updates and stuff. So yeah, that's basically where I stand. Um, on my system, I just have to dial nine and an extension on the 3CX to be able to contact one of them. So if I were to just like, you know, dial nine and like one of their extensions, it would call straight through like normal. So that's really it. Um, am I forgetting anything? Uh, I don't think so, that's basically it. Um, that's just a good like, skim of the updates and like how my system's working right now um uh, one thing you could uh, mention about the fxo is now you can have your vista dial your cell phone as well as extensions within the pbx right so i can have it basically dial my cell phone and also have it like activate the um a voice of back or something or a certain announcement or call in a certain um, extension so it could be pretty useful and actually i didn't show it off in here, um, the FXO port's right here, and this goes straight to the uh, landline. So uh, yeah, I might do a more in-depth um, review on the uh, Bogan UTI and all its features and stuff. And uh, yeah, I really suggest that device. By the way, it's really an awesome device. So uh, yeah, I think that does it for today. You have, you want to say anything? I'm not. No, not really. Other than, you know, check out the other phone system tour videos so that you know about the whole link system. Yep. Um, there should be cards if you press the little I in the top corner. I should put, um, you know, links to the videos. And uh, links to their channels will be in the description. Um, I highly suggest go checking out their systems. Um, they're a little bit more advanced than I am. But, uh, yeah, I really highly suggest checking it out. It's really cool. So, um, yeah. That's really it. Um, happy Halloween, and I'll see you all next time with a system test.